to this hell all over town here, buddy. It's not over yet. In fact, it's probably only just started. Again, buddy. Boy, lad. Have you seen Sarah? No, I've only just come into the city. Hmm. Well, for some reason, a contractee has requested specifically Drow for a job. Taught he included for her skills. So, I will be bringing the three of you with me. 
There's money in it, of course. It is a mercenary contract. I do not know. That is up to you, your master's own life. Fuck. <clears throat> yeah, has so uh, we're hired at uh, Marks. Hmm? You just speak like I've already signed on for this. It is up to you. I'll go check it out. Let you know what I hear. Okay. Yeah. Let me know what they want. Mm hmm. Uh, did Torty find you? She did. Okay. Oh, Aegon was looking for you as well. He said if you didn't uh, see him to go to the mercenaries. <clears throat> he also saw me. Thank you, you two. Okay. Mm. I think I'm gonna try to get breakfast. Seems like it's quiet. They did not request you. Um, Morning. Was a slip of the Morning. tongue. They requested Torty and I. Lucky you. <laughs> what do they want? Don't know yet, but just came to relieve you of your fake duties, I guess. Thanks. I'll uh, see what's happening, finish the job, and then I'll come back and let you know. You got it. Be safe. Try my best. Let me fucking babysit him. <sighs> I know, buddy. Long night. Staff Sergeant, <coughs> I have a task for you. Find me the strongest, most you? potent snake oil or cold medicine you can find. Because I have a fever and a cold, and I'm miserable. I see. Did you check the clinic? Mm. Probably. Mm -hmm. You have? Mm. That's why we're here.
streak. Um. How can I help? Your dad about? Sorry? Is, is your dad about? I haven't seen him yet. Not in the noble quarters? I looked inside Are the you house and he wasn't there. All right. There. Long night. I looked inside the house and he wasn't there, so he's probably up at the keep. I see. Um. Okay. Do you want me to pass the message? Or? Maybe I'll. Um. No, I need to speak with him directly. If I see him, I'll let him know. Um. Okay, um, I I'll wait. I, it, I need to wait.
fucking embarrassing. <clears throat> Can I help you, sir? How long can we keep sitting here? 
nothing. Just hanging out in the back with, of my house and with shop. Lord Hard Hunt. I am Lord Hard. How can I help? Sure haven't found me. Understood. I've been ordered to wait here and watch the back door as uh, Major Dyer uh, talks to the Lord. I see. Surely I'll do it myself! Speak of the I'm devil! I'm telling you, for the last time, I have Ask no him, idea what you're talking art. about. Ask him! My son, a report has come across the desk of both myself and the Major now. You were seen on the road coming from Cassetto after some sort of murders took place there. Would you be so kind as to tell the Major what you were doing out there? I was going for a midnight walk, actually, getting out of the city. I saw the guards go past and they told me about it, and that's the first I heard about this murder. And your first inclination was with her accusations. Yes, because he is very aware that he is very, very keen and skilled at doing any form of operations in the dead of night. His friend Sarah What would be the point of it? Drow. What would be the point? Especially after our conversation. Shall I go into detail here? Lord oh. Hart. I am very aware that you have no love for the Redards. You're only playing them for the puppets that they are. You have no love for this country. It is up to me to find who did this. And when I do, it will not be from my own care or want of punishment. It will be imperial execution, no matter of who they are. If it does turn out to be your son, which I pray to the gods it's not, I will have to act accordingly. But the coincidences you know damn in the well report that mine and my own have nothing to do with this. And the Are fact you that sure that is your first that? inclination, I'm positive. And the fact that that's your first inclination shows me keep. that any sort... Don't talk to me about company you keep. You're a traitor to your own country, sucking the cock of the Emperor, pretending that you are worthy of the station you stand in. Don't try to berate me about being a puppet. You are the epitome of... Now, the last time I checked, I have the right, as a Gradian noble, to send you from my fucking domicile. So see yourself out, Major. I suppose, if you will not aid in the investigation, our friend arriving in a few days will. Damn him. Damn that man. Damn that man! I knew I couldn't trust him. They'd look for any fucking excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. Paul? I thought that perhaps he was more meaning of what he said to us. Apparently, that is not the case. Or if he is, he has a funny fucking way of showing it. Forgive me for barging in. What can I do for you, Miss Hill? If we may speak. Right. Sorry. We can. I didn't mean for you to walk in on that. He surprised me no. at the front. Are you all right? It's been a late night. Let me take care of this business and I'll come find you.
No, not into the funny man's business again. Good morning, Arco. Unless they want it. Why is she covered in... I hope mud? that's mud. I think it's mud. I don't know. I just picked her up from the slave camp. I'm a bit in the blue as well. I am so sorry. That's okay. Oh, you like that, do you? Oh, the innocence. Oh, okay. I'm gonna assume that you're fine with her just being here. Okay. Makes my life easier. <laughs> I'll keep an eye on her while I can, I guess. Just hit yourself in the face with it. <laughs> that, that, that does not mean you can use it as a weapon. Yes, you just hit the anvil with it. Makes a noise, huh? How are you today, Godsman? There's been more... Actually, you know what? I won't even say I've had more interesting days because some of my days have been very uh, odd. <laughs> Boom. Godsman, there's an intruder. Oh no. I think he wants to do terrible things to me. <laughs> yes, commerce. What is... No, 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 yes. okay. Why just, are they covered uh, in, a... hopefully, mud? I think it's mud as well. I don't smell it, at least. Do I smell it? I, I think it's fun. This is Akka. Don't break their things, please. You can't How just, are you today, uh, you be a black, but No, it's a door. Not the door. <clears throat> okay, you know what to mean. And yeah. why is it here? Hitting your door? <sighs> I don't know. It was fighting in the slave pit yesterday. I think it belongs to Nolzus, and it's a curious creature. Wait, did you? You didn't buy it, did you? No. Why is it hanging? Uh, uh, Thank you, Akko. It's, it's not, common needs no. a bit of work. I don't no. know if it fully understands what we're saying. <laughs> Need something or just popping in? No. No. Just popping in, but if you do need anything, I don't have in their store, remember? stone and Property. wood. Person. We're not going to the reconstruction efforts. Look, the horse is coming. It's coming this way. I thought you all were handling that. Uh, on is. The large crate that was there has 25 I know it's iron ore in it from Venora. That bird just. Okay. Yeah, okay. 25 iron ore? Where is she getting iron ore? And uh, she wants a grappling hook. I would not walk behind to this table. I would not climb up there. I will see what I can do. The the god said you could have it done by the end of today. I will work on it then. I suppose I'm fucking doing this for free too. Fucking maths. I'm too tired for this. Just make it easy and just come back down the ladder. Keeping busy. It's actually been rather slow today. No time. Not a bad change. Um, right. By the way, what do you know about that hairy fellow? The hairy fellow? Henry? Is it is Henry? Harry. It's Harry. The one who just oh. rode off from Sorry, the Sorry, I thought you said Harry. Like, you know, go a lot of hair. I did say... I see. I... 
I've heard some troubling things about him. Oh, really? Have you not? Well, depends on what you mean by troubling. Everyone's a little troubling, no? <sighs> More than a little troubling. Something along the lines of... Him being a deserter, first of all, which in and of itself isn't that bad, but when you couple it with the fact that he's killed or let others do his killing for him multiple times, I wonder why we're working with a man like that. You know the things I've done, right? Allegedly. Not in detail. Well, it's probably a lot worse than what he has done. Hey, uh, Fezrin, you seen a blonde elf no. about this tall wearing a red shirt? Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. You just scammed the shit out of Hopper, so. I'm gonna kill him. Hmm. Uh, sold him something that he said was a health potion, but it wasn't a health potion. Ah. The oldest trick in the book. Sorry, I haven't seen him. If I do, I'll let him know. Thank you. What, did something happen that's got you suspicious of him? <laughs> well, someone sold me out. I heard about that. Or were you not? Did he know about it? And this... It, though? He didn't, but he's close with Venora and them. And recently, there was that whole spat about me telling um, the Inquisitor about Soma. And... I don't know. He's the only one that I can... <sighs> He's the only one that I don't know or trust, and has a potential of knowing. And it's also curious because whoever wrote the note did not know my real name. They wrote Vesrin Morgul, not... Mm. You know. Well, I know enough about him to know that he fucking hates Imperials, so I doubt he'd work with them. Hmm. I don't know. I hate Imperials, you hate Imperials, but we still have to work with them from time to time. Mm, but to what end, though? To get you into shit? He barely knows you. It has been on my mind, though. There's a lot of people talking about this. Just not sure who else. Inquisitor, that's the issue. Would... <sighs> hmm. Fay, fucking um, Quinn, Torty. Torty. Torty's been talking to the Inquisitor. Uh, a little frequently, yeah. Frequently? What do you mean frequently? I've seen her go off with him two or three Everybody's times at least. To him. But then yeah, again. Just... Speaks you out, or you do to him. Oh, hold on. Go off with him? Yeah, like they alone? Walk off and talk, and he's been looking for her and such. I mean, he's been doing it to everyone, though. I don't know. He only ever approached me once or twice. I haven't seen him since. Hmm. But what reason would he have to talk to Torty? Well, there was something that happened that I can't go into details about that. He wanted to talk to her about, and then we squared that away. But then he's kept kind of talking to her. I don't know what it's about. Well, you can't go into detail about Why not? Well... Thin walls and such. <laughs> but that's squared away. It's fine. It's handled. But I just... I don't know. What if he's talking to her and it's got me very worried? She does put her foot in her mouth often. I don't know, maybe bring her out with her. She knows your real name too, so... Right. 
and she supposedly it's cares about you. Someone that doesn't know my real name, though. Or well, they chose not to use it. If they're going to sell out every detail about me, why not try and put the nail in the coffin? But giving them my name. Well, I mean, whoever they're no talking to, to doesn't know point. your real name, so saying, you know, Mr. Smith, if that's your real name, they'll say, who the fuck is that, right? But if they say Vesrin Morgul, they know exactly who they're talking about. What's this letter, by the way? Mm. It was a crumpled up letter, a note really, left in one of the bunks at the clinic. Someone who was treated in the clinic, or was in the clinic on that day, who knows everything about my condition, has given a note to the Inquisitor, detailing the oh, well, things Tor about it. Torty can't write. Oh. So, it wouldn't be her. Yes. Well, of course. No, but I'm worried because for her safety, not that she sold me out. Oh, I see. Um... Everything I've heard about this Inquisitor seems he's pretty down to earth, but I am almost certain he has a dark side to him. I don't know, bring it up with her. Uh, you're closer to her than I am. All right. Um, Doing all right. Fine. Yeah. Fine. Um I, I need to find Jensen. Um Excuse me. Oh, he'll some... be right back in town. Um he, he he went to do some errands, but he will be back. Shortly. I see. Um. Okay. <sighs> Everything all right out here? Just shooting yeah. the shit. Right. <clears throat> You still want to talk, my son? Only if you want to. Since when have I skipped an opportunity to speak to my boy? I don't I'm know. usually busy. <clears throat> Come on. <clears throat> Is she okay? She seemed really, um, all over the place. <laughs> She's a lot of people are. She's afraid. Apparently, someone confided in her that Victor is coming. Yeah. I don't know who, and she refused to tell me. She's decided she's going down to Nith Mamalorian, and Jensen's going with her. I'm afraid for the boy. He's untried and untested. <clears throat> but I know why he's going down, and I trust you'll keep this secret. I'm in the middle of working on a ring for him. He's going to propose. A bit of good news amongst it all. I see. To her. Yes. The two of them were on um, Vedran's list of people that he wanted to go down with, so... On the one hand, I can't say anything because I am not a part of it. <clears throat> on the other, I, I hope he picks carefully. I'm still deciding if I want to go down or not. Well, I know I don't want to go down, but... I don't know if I have a choice. You always have a choice. If I had it my way, I'd stay up with you, keep a contingent close, and if things get into trouble, they'd send a runner and I could lead a contingent down to get them out with the express purpose of getting them out. But... I know Sarah doesn't want me down there. 
Morden says I was smart to want to stay away from it. I don't know. At the end of the day, the choice is yours. I am your father, and my answer will be selfish. Yeah. I just don't want to, no, I want to be seen as a coward, that's all. <laughs> a coward. There is not a single person here alive I could point at you and call you a coward. You have thrown yourself into the fray, even when that's not been what you're good at, before you even were trained. When there were people reaching out to you for help. There's none even amongst us, especially our long-lasting friends, that would ever dare say such a thing. You are a good man. I try to be. No one's perfect. There are things that I'm sure more paragons of virtue would assail me for. I am not perfect either. I have my fault. Yeah. On one hand, I want to stay up. I don't want to... I don't want to die down there. I don't want to leave everything behind. And... But on the other hand, if someone does die down there and I'm not there to help... I don't know. No matter what you do, you're going to beat yourself up over it. It doesn't matter what it is. Yeah, you're you right. go down there and it looks like you won't make it back. You'll regret it. If you stay up here and people don't make it back, you'll regret it. That's one of the problems with having virtue and morality, my son. As we cannot be everywhere at once, I'm afraid. <laughs> Two years ago, I would have put everything on halt and you know I would have went with them. Same. I can't. Would you accept my plan then, at least? I'd feel better staying up there knowing if I had a... that there's a small chance I might be able to help people. We don't even know if once they're in, they'll be able to get out in the same way. I know. I have no idea. And I won't be able to spare anyone as a contingent. I am under the nose of the Redards taking men to hold topside just in case. We've already heard elves have gone that way. I thought about that. We could hire on those mercs we had. What are they? The Gilded Chains? The Azure Chains? I need them. Yeah. They're the ones keeping the ship safe currently. Ah, I see. And I'm going to get around the outside of the forge a little bit more built up, and they will be acting as security, a personal guard. Yeah, Lord knows we fucking need it now. I see. I've thought long and hard about this, my son. Hmm. I don't know. I'm just as complicit. I'm the one who told Thessalor that if anything is down there, has been described, if it is a weapon, we cannot allow our enemies to get their hands on it. I told him it must be retrieved or destroyed. I am just as guilty. We'll do the next best thing. We'll hold and wait. And if it turns out that they don't come up after two, three days, 
We'll hire some local mercenaries and send a contingent down. We can't do it ourselves anymore. Right. In the very least. Find them or recover their bodies, whichever one it is. <sighs> whatever it might be. I'm okay we with can't that lose sight of the province. No. Trust me, I feel it. I do. I feel like I'm betraying them. It's the only reason I ever went, Kylo. Because I felt they needed me. Mm. They needed a leader or someone to give commands or another sword, whatever it was. That's exactly it. You heard me at the shitty town hall. I. I practically blew drud, uh, blood with Thessalor, speaking about going back to Bedoria. In the end, I still went. Our paths are diverging. Slowly but surely, we will be going in an opposite direction that they are not. It's yeah. going to be difficult. Yeah. Weird to think about. Even when we've been separated, everyone's kind of wound up at the same place, huh? And now we're going somewhere where they can't really follow. Tale to be told. <laughs> Shulbrook's writing his book still. <laughs> you think it'll be about us? He told me <laughs> I've had to dumb down some of the details of all the spooky shit because the truth is less believable. I wouldn't believe it if I read it. No. Be honest. Well, we have a plan at least to we'll stick to it. What about this? Hmm? You will go with them under the agreement of being a runner. If it looks like it's getting too bad. If it looks like they are going to fail. You immediately come back topside. And do... That is the fastest way. Grab the mercenaries and we send them down sooner than if we waited. I'm trying to think of anything that will make you feel as if you've done what you consider your part, even though you should have no stake in this other than your friends. Staying up with you and waiting could work. I talked to Vezrin. Um, if there was any way he could get a message to us if something went bad, and he said he might be able to talk to um, Awen. But he doesn't know if he has connection to the forest or whatever the fuck that means. From my vague memories of Eandel trying to do the same underground, she had no luck. Yeah. I would not count on it. I do not wish to fill your head with doubt. This is a choice you must make on your own. Because I am selfish. I'm selfish too. I've unfinished things here. I don't want to go down and die. Yes, but I would trade all of them for you. That is why I'm selfish. Then I should probably stay up, right? Sarah doesn't want me down there. You don't want me down there. I don't want to be down there. It kind of speaks for itself. I'll carry whatever comes just with it. Both struggling with the same feeling. Yeah. I don't go. What's going to happen to them? Yeah, that's exactly it. <clears throat> 
Something else is kind of bugging me, too. Speak to me, my boy. <clears throat> I don't know if I can. If I do, you won't be able to plead ignorance anymore. I don't understand. With Dario. Those kind of things are exactly why I don't tell you about some of the things I do, is so you can plead ignorant and be truthful for it. To say you're not involved and be honest about it. And if I tell you these things, Wait. then... He's... Was he right? If I tell you these things, you won't be able to plead ignorance anymore. You understand? You are the third other person that has come to me with information that has told me they can't tell me the source or why they know, and I, I feel like I'm getting blindsided into the point where I may not be able to intervene. If you want me to tell you, I will. I'm not holding it back from you, I'm just warning you, that's all. Were you involved in what he said? Were you actually there? Yes. Who the Soul Swords? Working with the Dreadknives. Directly. They were involved in an attack on the refugee camp a couple of nights prior. The Imperial Administrational Staff. The girl? The girl. It was strange. She was basically guarding them. This is probably where I can help you. <sighs> the report was that these mercenaries were hired by someone to look into the slaver that had docked on that ship. They were looking for further information for connections within the city. Anyone that might have done business with this captain. Likely a cover then, if they worked for the Dread Knives, they were probably looking for something else. Definitely. That's why they were given clearance. The report. Major's raising hell because this <sighs> woman had just gotten here three days ago. It was an uncombatant. What? I guess he has some humanity. Yes. Do they make a there habit a of giving of... their non-combatant swords? As a last resort, yes. One-handed swords, as far as I know. It's a new doctrine. I have not seen female Imperials in their ranks before. But the way that the Major explained to me is their auxiliary staff to take pressure off of frontline troops. Uh, clerks, administration, managers of things like the clinic, uh, surgeons, nurses, things like that. She was guarding a doorway on. Don't know. The only other person Maybe in that room keep an eye on the soul sword. was one of the cell swords working for the dread knives. Don't know. I have no idea. <sighs> Literally, the first I heard about it was that report at around four in the morning from Sergeant Fenton. Yeah. And when I finally came down to the keep and came here, I had Dario kicking my door in. And with a gall to show up with armed men. I 
I didn't want to. I got sloppy, and I didn't mean to. I was trying to. Nothing's perfect. No plan survives contact with the enemy. I didn't even want to kill her. I was. I saw she was wearing Imperial. I wanted to drag her around the corner, and when she jumped and twisted. She... Shouldn't have happened. I've made similar mistakes. Wrong place, wrong time. I'm sorry. It's what we have to tell ourselves, Kylo. You think I took joy in places like Oakenbrook and Ambershire? Seeing boys in half plate come over the wall just for me to kill them. I have a hate for the Empyrean, but every single one of them I saw on my son. And wondering what things would have been if I was born on a, just another side of a border. If you ever lose sight of that, if it becomes easy, if you don't think about these things, that's when you become a monster. Ten years ago, I wouldn't have battered an eye. Now... When she looked at me, I... The pit in my stomach. I've never had that before, and I hate it. It's a fact that you think about it and question it, but it makes you feel this way. It shows the caliber of man that you are. If you had done something wrong, I would be the first to tear into you and tear deeply. The situation we're in is not normal. Mistakes happen. I know my son. I know Kyla Erdhard. I knew Kyla Blint as when I met him. We're a different man. And I know that if you had a choice, you would not have done it. I believe that without a second thought. How do we handle this? You need to make sure that there are no traces to you. Assuming you did it alone. If you're not, then you need to speak with everyone you did it with. Get on the same page, same story. You're the only one I heard about, however. So if there are others, tell them to lay low. Avoid interaction for now. I'll make it through. It's all right, my boy. It is all right. After we were, um... After we handled all the mags, the real reason we were there showed up. So you're sure it's dread time, son? More than that. It was one of them. It had to be. Are you sure? She saw me and froze. It stumbled over as someone that deft doesn't just trip over nothing. And the way they moved, and... They saw me. 
they had to have recognized me, and that means... I'll come to you. In force. Maybe down below would be safer. <sighs> they could do all the hunting they want. If they don't find you, they'd move on. I don't know. This is outside my expertise. I can... I can spin it to the barons as remnants of the Capitano's partners and have the guard on alert for suspicious individuals, but... The chance of the guards catching them... No. It's not high. The only way to deal with them is doing what I do. I don't know how to help with that. Yeah, I know. I mean, I will. I have something to wear. I can follow instructions, but... <laughs> I'll be out of my element. But I will walk into the lion's den with you, my son. I'm scared of what you see if you do. I am not so untarnished. I do not know how evil men can be. Not them. I remember very well the emotion showed when we dealt with one of the others in that warehouse. I'm not naive, my son. If you think I'll be any better when I get my hands on Victor Van Gogh. He is the only man or creature I have ever considered putting to a pyre myself. That should tell you plenty. Yeah. Think on it. If you decide you need backup, you need only tell me what's necessary, and I will play along. But if you feel it's not a good idea and you want to go in alone, I won't stop you either, but I will be worried sick. If there's anything you take from that, that you are my son, my blood, and I will bleed for you. Just as I will make others bleed for you. If I must. Thank you. No, too good for me. You have nothing to thank me for. I think I'm exactly what you needed. No more, no less. Definitely. Now, I have to head to the keep and handpick the men that I will trust to come with me on this foray. Most likely eight in total, shock troopers. Did Torty get you that, um, potion? Just in case. I have not seen her since. Okay. She was meant to get you the um, anti-poison thing, since we were worried. If you get to it before I do, just leave it on my desk. Oh, do you? You cannot find me. Yeah. Do be careful. I will if you are. Come a long way. Nothing.
Nothing's changed. I'm proud to call you my son. Fucking A. <clears throat> I need a second. <sighs> Bro, that was so bad. My eyes are like <laughs> I was fucking crying. But then my nose started running <laughs> because I was crying. <laughs> And because I was leaning forward, it just came, like, fucking <laughs> gushing out of my nose. <laughs> it was, like, <laughs> it was so fucking gross. You know how kids cry? And they just have, like, snot bubbles and stuff. <laughs> oh, man. It's the good feels for now. I know it's gonna get fucked here in a second, but for now it's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was so gross. <laughs> I'm a gross boy. I need to put the, um... The shadow toggle on this. It's in a, the, the issue that I'm facing with a lot of my model stuff, chat, is that this combat model is in a completely different Unity file to all the other ones. So anything I do on those, I have to basically do 
again from scratch on this one and vice versa. <clears throat> Okay, there's still a child. Dude, like, he's crying like a snot bubble. <laughs> and I killed a non-combatant, and my ex-girlfriend's here, and I don't know what to do. <laughs> like, he's such a fucking baby, man. <clears throat> oh, man, it fucking gets to me. Haka. Don't throw people stuff. Haka. I know, it was a good throw. There's a couple clam shells around your feet. Are these yours? Can I have one? This is very pretty. Um... You're probably going to want to get that repaired later. You'll see the teeth mark on not only the metal, but the shaft as well. You eating this? <laughs> she tried. The fact that you nodded your head and you shook your head. <laughs> Tell me, Aka, where are you from? There's something to deal with. The ocean? Just vague, the ocean. Deep down. In a cave. Uh. Do you know how old you are? How familiar is Kyler with maps? Decently, if they're, you know, <laughs> proper maps. Alright. Is he, has he seen any of the Theosian maps? Yes. Alright, I will ask Scrim <clears throat> Scram real quick. Never mind, I think he's in a module. Fuck it, I don't give a shit. Um, looking at the map, or what Ock is drawing, it looks like, at least to you, the rough outline of an island? I'm not quite sure. Some of the features are wrong, so you can't really place where it is, but it's definitely an island somewhere in the east. Huh. So in a cave on an island, <laughs> underneath the island. Oh. Were you alone? Did you have family? Friends? Horrible noise. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> Don't like the big walking metal yeah. thing? <laughs> um... Mm. Rolling. <laughs> so, thing of note. Some square in the side of the head, and a small dent appears. Don't. Just small thing of note. Uh, they were very interested in hammering against the anvil about the noise. Was something you liked. Maybe something to do with well, the noise. 20, there was a small rock in there. Hmm. Oh, okay, keep guess. that in mind. I'm not reconning this. Minus 100 reputation. Okay. Tang will remember that. Tang will remember this. Don't do that people. <laughs> <laughs> it's so. Um, did we want to do your arm thing, Tang? Did we need to do that today? Don't throw dirt at the... If it's not today, I'm going in one-handed. Okay, um, show me what we need to do. Open your journal. 
To my knowledge. What specifically are you attempting to do? Give him another hand. Well. Yeah, we make him uh... Fuck you, sword. You weren't supposed to go off with me. Tang, quick question. When you made the original schematics, back when you had your arm made, did you ever see the schematics? Yeah, he has them. Oh. I have them, go. and I also have some extra knowledge, which I'd like you to roll for. Yeah. This would be a benefit of plus two for them if they're going to make the, uh, the roll. Because uh, Martin has knowledge of the automaton of the East. That is true. So he might be oh, able to make some improvements for the schematics. Yeah. Yeah. So, one thing is going to produce from his backpack will be a steel and brass assembled mechanical hand. You already got the ingots. And <clears throat> the pieces of what was left of his arm. He's gonna pick up the mechanical hand and have a little look at it. Does not seem to belong to a Warforged. The fingers are articulated by gear mechanisms at the base of the hand. It doesn't seem to be automatic in any fashion. It's definitely dwarven craftsmanship, but for what purpose, you're not sure. If anything, it's clockwork. Just going to test each of the fingers, make sure they all move. They do. Yeah, at the very least, putting that together with the main mechanism to put it on my fucking arms, I think will work just fine. At least workable <clears throat> to be able to pick things up, maneuver my fingers. Basically, you're going to have to make a skeleton. A frame. Yep. I'm good at making skeletons. It's easier to make the skeleton but, than to make the full arm, at the very least it'll be something usable! If you can hand me the what schematics... In just a moment... Let me go and, uh, oh, and do me a favour, if you're going to leave your hand out and about, don't leave it in the dirt. Put it on the table or something so that the deers don't get... Ah, so that the mechanisms don't clog up. At least until we put some protection on. Right. <clears throat> Doing alright, buddy. Oh, I'm doing mostly all right. Getting a letter from my sh sister should make me feel a whole lot more relieved, but... Mm, some, things were in it, some things weren't in it that I was hoping for, which is going to... at least not take something off of my conscience, but... On the plus side, we may be getting an emissary from outside of the region if we can just get everything under handled. Oh, really? Yeah. A beneficiary from Luxor. Same city as the university. The Institute's counterpart. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. So in the meantime, at the very least, I think you can start fashioning the bee skeleton parts. I can do that. Of course, that'll be the main portion that'll hold it in place. Should be. I have some presents for you. Steel. Come over here. Pre presents or presents? Oh, okay. S On the table, you will see the original schematic 
I also see something that he drew up for you regarding hydraulic pistons, like the one in your leg, how they work, and how basic clockwork assembly works. Uh. Okay, this is a lot more than I was expecting, but... First and foremost, oh, let's... Try and, help. and I know what you told me, this is just... Thank you. I'll I... help you in the long run if you use these basic components, like the gears and the mechanisms. Plus, when they get damaged, instead of replacing the entire arm, you can take out the pieces. You just need to the replace pieces. the mechanisms. And that was partly this way what the basically other arm is was designed. To do. This is specifically designed so that if you shatter your arm, you're not shattering the entire arm; you're shattering it into pieces. The pieces can then be repaired, whichever ones are damaged. <clears throat> repaired, replaced, and integrated. Sounds like a plan. I'll at least give the schematics towards Sharik over there so we can get started. <laughs> I'm trying to expand this hoop so that it can go around your nub. Yeah, I figured. For your eyes only. I see. From the holes. I'll probably need to. He wasn't lying when he said something about making a skeleton. I can see, yeah, it's gonna kind of slip into the... You see that the scroll is indeed sealed with wax left on marks. Likely very secretive. <clears throat> and that's supposed to yeah. slot into the hand, isn't it? Uh, I'll go investigate this in private myself. Or at least part of it. We'll have to modify it a bit around... I don't have a hand. Uh, can you see. Then follow me to my domicile. Around this area we would have to rearrange some of the gears to work alongside the mechanism that's already pre-made. Or adjust that to be integrated into the arm. That moves with your hand. This needs to move with energy expenditure. Ooh, okay. Well, keep an eye on what I'm doing and tell me if it looks like I'm about to fuck it up. At the very least, I have a precise eye, so that'll help. So I'm thinking. Oh, these aren't more schematics. <clears throat> this is just. No, I'm looking at stuff that. I didn't want lying on the table. Looking at your nub. I'm thinking if I. Because we're trying to connect the skeleton to the hand, if we put it in and then. Lock it, right? Yes. Okay. So I'll be sure to put a little chip in here. Being capable to actually integrate itself into the air. Yeah. original <laughs> on this. Normally I just make swords, Tang. <clears throat> well, I know that. Just about all the projects that I've had you work on are very different. Yeah, you made me give someone legs. I had to unfuck your shoulder. Now you're giving me a fucking hand. <laughs>